Hi guys, um, welcome back to my singleness versus loneliness web series and today we'll be talking about challenging doubt and envy. Let us get to it. A relationship does not make you any more or less valuable than you already are. Don't base your value, your beauty, your comfort, your satisfaction on the fact that you have a relationship or, or the fact that you don't have a relationship no matter what other people say. Remember, God orders our steps. So where he has you in this season of your life is where he wants you for this season of your life for what he has planned for you. If you've just come out of a relationship, sometimes it's very easy to um, hold on to the season that God has just taken you out of. But remember, the one who has allowed you to be in this season of your life will sustain you in this season of your life until you are ready for the next season of your life. Because maybe in the next season of your life, that is where your partner or future person to be is. What encouraged um, today's topic is because very recently, unashamedly or shameably <laughs> I went through um, a season or rather a phase where I was doubting if God even has the person for me and I was envying other people's relationships to the point where I became vulnerable to the wrong people and I formed relationships that were I don't even want to talk about them at this time <laughs> But one thing that I learned coming out of this very recent phase of my life is that if you do anything outside of the will of God, you will always settle for less than what God has for you. And if anyone has ever been through this phase or a similar phase to me, honestly, the best thing I can say is have a conversation with God. Like be as raw as you possibly can be with God because Honestly, I had to be raw with God. This is how I'm feeling. This is what I'm going through. This is this is where I'm at. Like, where are we going from here? Because the truth is God wants us to be vulnerable to him. As much as he knows our heart, as much as he knows what we're going through, he wants us to be able to have that relationship with him where we can be open with him and let him know what we're going through. And for me, it stemmed back to... Um, a Bible verse in 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verses 11 where it says um, that God is made strong in our weaknesses. Wait, let me quote. My it. grace is sufficient for you for my strength is made perfect in weakness. We need to be vulnerable enough to allow God into our weaknesses so that he can strengthen us and sustain us in this season and help us overcome doubt and envy. One prayer that I would always make is God replace this desire for another person with a desire for you. And I would just ask God for that. Like, you know what I mean? Like God, give me the strength because at this point, the more that my flesh is dominating, the weaker that I am becoming and the stronger that I want you to come in my weaknesses and give me a desire for you. Replace this love, this desire for wanting that attention, wanting someone to be around with a desire to be with you, God. And don't limit your life to a need, to a want, to a desire or to another person. In Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 it says but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be given to you. God gives us what we desire and all the things that we we want and mainly the things that we need <laughs> if we seek him first and if we're vulnerable to him and if we allow him into our weaknesses and if we grow in him. And God will give us the strength to love the season that he has us in. And we will not doubt or envy what other people are going through. And remember that our journey is going the way that God wants it to be if we are trusting him and we are seeking him. Mm -hmm.